welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. Last time, well, we finally have a new Dawn Servant, or should I say Dawn Servants, and Walk Lamont and Kona, which I'm actually very happy with that, because after seeing Kona grow as a character, I was like, you know what, I'm fine if Kona was Dawn Servant, and it makes sense, you have the head of reason, which is Kona, the head of resolve, Walk Lamont. So now it's time to continue and we're going over the bridge. So on the meantime, I made a new outfit. It is basic, very basic. This is the level 89 uh, Gunbreaker set with the Bay Gunblade from Titania, which I quite like. I would pull out now, but I can show you what it does later. Now, let's get into it. Aaronville, the long road to Zakturo. <laughs> Oh, god damn it. I swear if I just got the hiccups, this could be very convenient. I'm gonna get a sweet muffin, which is great for spellcasters. Okay, Aaronville is ready to set off. Ready to get underway. Yes. Then present your pass to the, that guard over there and let's be off. You won't have to wait long to enjoy sightseeing. The bridge to Zocturo is a wonder in its own right. Gate is bar bar to all those save. <sighs> Sorry, this gate is bar to all save those who express permission from one of the dawn servants. There you go. Signed by Val Wakulma herself. My apologies, sir. If you wait here just a moment. Look at this bridge they built. Oh wow, that is a big bridge. Shall we then? You know, I had second, th second thoughts. It's not. Yeah, that is the level 89 set for Gunbreaker, and I'm like, eh, hey, you know what, let's change it up a little bit. Even if it's just for a little bit of time. Alright, is that going to be a cutscene? Looks like it. It's more deserty over here. Yeah, it is. On the far side of that hmm. great bridge unfolded the wilds of Shaloni, where the sun guides in the Shetonatan. A harsh guide, to be sure, with its blazing rays scorching the land and hardening its inhabitants. But sweeping change had come to the arid expanse when, beneath its red crust, Vast deposits of ceruleum were discovered. Embracing this opportunity, Vau Kona supporters hurtled on, driven by dreams of a future illuminated by blue flame. It is here that our journey continues, our path taking us along wending roads of steel, each length of track a declaration of hope and ambition. Welcome to Shaloni, Zakdur. My home, Yasulani, lies past Shaloni. My it Shaloni. It will be a long journey, but the railroad should make it easier. Oh, don't be mad. You know you were thinking about that too. <laughs> As for the way to the train station, let's ride these fellows, shall we? Well, they look like... they look cool. <laughs> Alright, a whole new area. Oh, jeez. Sheshenwenzi? Sheshenwenzi? 
Oh God, did it have to combine so many letters together? Now I'm getting, forgive me. Oh, mm. I'm getting, um, one second. What am I thinking of? I'm getting of a uh, Thalion. I'm getting Thalion vibes from this. Except more Western because underdeveloped towns that are growing. Right, okay. Proton Renick? Renick? Great, so if one will suffice, I have the creature ready and waiting. But if you need two, then you'll have to wait. The Ronick, Ronick have been acting strangely of late. More easily spooked and otherwise disagreeable. Picking out a few fit for retin providing bothersome work. Hmm. I mean, technically two of us can ride one. They're huge. They're usually so docile, and the ones I saw earlier didn't appear to be unhealthy either. But so much has changed since I last was here. Not the best start to our journey. Still, the train station isn't far. Seeing as we're we are in a hurry, let's go on foot. All right. About that, sir. As we travel, as well traveled as you look, it's not only the Rod Ronique that have been giving us trouble. Other wildlife has showed signs of aggression too. The merchants should be running around soon with one of those be uh one of our beasts stick around till they do and i'll see you both see you both to run uh, on running for a safer trip your offer is most acceptable but i don't think my friend here is particularly concerned about the wildlife <laughs> but the ronique Aaronville. the ronique <laughs> if it's your first time in Shaloni, I can understand your enthusiasm. It'd be a shame not to ride one at least uh, ride one at least once while you're here. Yeah. Fair point. If we're to give you the authentic Shaloni experience, I suppose it's worth the wait. Right, change of plans. There's a small town nearby. We've passed the time there while waiting. Take your head and, uh... Oh, jeez. One second. Asatawi. Asatawi, then. I'll have a man bring the Ronarik over there. Just mind yourself around the drunkards and troublemakers, eh? Yeah, because right now what I'm seeing is giving me a Western vibe. Like a spaghetti Western. I feel like watching Gunsmoke right now. With Matt... With James Arnett. With Matt Dillon. Oh, yeah. I like westerns, don't worry. I could hop in and do that. The Noble Hunters. Alright, let's do this. Oh my god, how many people are here? They're swarming. Holy cow. Well, that was crowded, if I do say so myself. And now they're all going to probably Dara Dared. If I had guessed with the XP bonus on it, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Also, you probably saw my gun blade. I was about to call it Keyblade. It looks like this. It is a beautiful looking gun blade from Titania. 
Which is the only extreme I did in Shadowbringers. So I do have a... I, I do know how she works. I could easily do it right now if I wanted to. Alright. Well, actually, what level is your equipment, dear sir? Because I have a Sage at level 95 now. Okay, no, 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 and no. Actually, what's this look like? Oh, hmm, okay. Just wondering. All right. Yeah, they're already on that 75% done. They're going crazy. But yeah, now I'm in a Western. Now I just need the gun smoke music, black and white coloring. Last time I was here, it was a little more than a camp with a shop or three. Now nah, look, it's almost a full town. I like the music here, it definitely suits the vibe. It has a twang of western. Well, well. It's become a proper town. Some wanted people. Now hold on a minute. Now hold on a minute. Oh no, we got two hotheads. Oh no, they're gonna do a shootout, aren't they? We gonna draw on the cannon. I'm talking to you, you old bastard. I I'm talking to you. <sighs> Give me strength. For the last time, the investigation is closed. There's no refuting the evidence. I don't give a shit about your evidence, you lying scum. You release my friends, or I'll make you wish you had. <sighs> Let me remind you who the scum is here. Your friends, who had the temerity to point their firearms at me. The Deputy Chief of the Dust Watch. And after taking them into custody, what should we discover but incontrovertible proof that they had committed larceny? They will not be released until they've paid for their crimes. I'd heard the peacekeeping force had been formed to deal with growing lawlessness. Seems the situation is bad indeed. Still can't get up a fuss, eh? Sounds like poor Zekua needs his bottle. Sure he wouldn't prefer his mama's teat? <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is a western. Treat me like a child, will you? My friends haven't done anything wrong, damn it! They've been framed! Back on you, mama. Oh, stubborn little runt. Listen here, Zekoa. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you'd best comport yourself like one. That means respecting the rule of law. Order may be precarious here in Shaloni, but it can be had if each man does the right thing. And for those that don't, well, they have to answer to the Dust Watch. Now run along and think before you cast aspersions next time. Lest you hurt my feelings. Fine. If that's how it's gonna be. Do it. I wouldn't if I were you. It's Jenny and I do. Wonder where you were. Is that?
There's a time to fight and a time to withdraw. For you, that's now. What? Hey! What are you doing, Zekawa? You'd better not be stirring up trouble. Wahute! You sack of Ronek shit! This ain't over! You hear me? Ronek. So the E's are not Ronique, it's Ronek. Got it. You wanna tell me what that was about? Nothing that need concern you, sir. Zekowa is simply struggling to come to terms with the low character of his friends. But for good measure, I'll have the men keep an eye on him. Yes, you do that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go make my rounds. Hmm. I want to say he's crooked, but it's too early to tell. Ah, uh, heck, he's going to be a crooked prop. Probably. Man, man, what are you doing here? I wasn't How... expecting to see your faces among the crowd. How did you get over the bridge? You didn't have pass. Talk is rife. There's a new dawn servant. Take it you found it then. The Golden City. Yeah, some things are going down right now, probably, while I'm here. Aye, the contest is over. And as I needed to return home to Yasulani, I offered to show our friends some of Shakhtural. What brings you north? Nothing in particular. Just seeing what there is to see. Go wherever the wind blows you, hey? Guru Jaja compensated me rather generously for our oh, deal. Oh, never mind then. I'll be able to enjoy a comfortable life on the road for the foreseeable future. But for now, I shall be moving on. Oh, by the way, I recommend you try the Sabatender. They may not look it. The surprisingly delicious. The sabotender? Is that a grilled cactar? But we don't serve sabotender here. Oh. The Oh no. Oh no, it's Shenya, no. What have you done again? My man, what have you done? God damn it, you really swindled What did you do? What did you eat? Wait, what's this? Oh. Well, oh, that, that's cool, I guess. I didn't know I had that. I hate to say it, it's gonna go to waste. I'm doing story. No sooner do we set out than we run into excitement. At least no one was hurt. This dust watch has their work cut out for them. For as long as I can remember, all disputes, big or small, were settled by dueling. Oh, uh, yep, pulled guns out on each other. The peoples of Shloni rarely saw eye to eye. For better or worse, it was the simplest way to settle differences. Since most would sooner not risk their lives, though, and encourage parties to pursue peaceful resolutions in a roundabout fashion. The Dust, the dust Watch was likely established by supporters of Kona, preferring peace be enforced through the formal rule of law. A reasonable stance, all things considered. If things ever got a hand, the, the land's guard would be forced to step in. Well, freedom they have now would be lost under Zorol Zorolja's authority. All I wish to say, unless the a lengthy stay in a jailhouse pills to you, be mindful how you handle your arms in town. I'm not making any promises. Ah, new Aetherite. Okay. Saddled up. Aaronville would not would not dither about for long. I should like to think the statement has arrived with the Ronek by now. I'll go on and check. If you want to stay and have a look around and be my guest, come and find us when you have your fill. Well, we're in the west. Oh wait. 
There's a couple people I need to talk to. Alright, what do I get here? A few things. If I actually do crafting, I care. Man, I'm wearing the worst outfit for this, by the way. It's all black. I'm in, uh, basically a western desert. I do like the music, though. Now that... Now I think on it, this is the first time I've traveled with only a single companion. It makes for fewer complications. The friend I take it. Sorry to have kept you both waiting. Unruly wildlife is not the only source of recent distress, I'm afraid. Also, been a risk rise in robberies targeting merchants. As a result, we've got a lengthy list of folks wanting to use our neck. Which is why I have to ask you, ask that you stop in Shishen... She 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 and she she and she she and she she and springs. That's fine, of course, but why haven't the Duskwatch dealt with this banditry? Kameka and his fellows are doing what they can, but they reckon the bandits are operating as a gang. Round them up is easier said than done. If you have anything of value, you want to take care. Thank you for warning, I'll be sure to stay vigilant. Alright then, if you're ready to set off, I'll see you on your way. Right? Then settle up. Your friend seems to know the way, so I won't bother giving you directions. Right, let's go. This is your first time, so let's take it slow. Take care not to get uh, not to let it toss you. I should be fine. I continue to be struck by how much Shaloni has changed. Yeah, you were away for a few years, weren't you? That town we just visited wasn't even here some four years ago. With few reliable opportunities to replenish water supplies, travelers turned to not 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 what? Not just for waters in their stems, mind. Their fruits are also said to have both nutrients and uh, hydration. I may have to open my chat log, but eh, it's fine. Oh, yeah. see that hole there? Some might hope to find water there, but it's burning with cerulean. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see it. The eruption of flame. Oh, man, you're talking too fast. The Wallachi, meanwhile, show great reverence to Cerulean and Blue Flames. Oh, wow, Wallachi. But this is the discussion from the time we're here. Wallachi, shocked I said that with absolutely no issue. A good thing for these Renek. 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 I got a feeling this episode's gonna be mostly me just traveling about. Which, honestly, fine. No sooner did we dismount, than the next passengers are all around on their way. They really are short on our neck. I don't know. Now then. I have an Aetherite crystal to touch my hands. I'm gonna get my hands all over them. This is... Shishen... Shishen Wenzi. Wenzi. Wazi. Shishenwadi Springs, perhaps the busiest town here in Shilani. People travel here from all over, hoping to find their fortune. The change came to... Hustawahi. Hustawahi was surprising enough, but this is no less impressive. They achieved a great deal in the three years I've been away. So three years you were away, and the towns have expanded, and some new towns have popped up. The station is on the eastern side of town, but there should still be time before the next train departs. If you don't mind, I'd like to pay a visit to an old friend. The, uh, an old friend of my mentor. Yadi is her name, and she learned that I passed and if she learned that I and if she learned I passed through without saying hi. Without saying a word, she never let me hear that. But she set out for our village some ten years ago, hoping to earn coin as a trap as a travel to 
Ash, holy cow, can I not read today? I swear. Let me restart that sentence. She set out from our village some 10 years ago, hoping to earn coin as she traveled about Tyrol. I can help but assume she too came here seeking great opportunities. In that case, let us see if we can find her. Her blue hair should make her easy to spot. You say that? We'll see. But I'm going to touch that crystal with both my hands. Touch, 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 touch. Mine. Mine. Oh, fine. One hand will do. Alright. I start to do the compass stuff, but I'll worry about the layer. Alright, we're looking for you. No. Mm. Ah! I think I see her. That's a dude. Oh, well, hmm. Damn, that, you may really shorten that sh search for me. Shatona. Hmm. Yes, I'm Yadi. And who might you be? He is my friend. Could it be? Goodness, it is. Ellen. Aaronville, yes. A man grown. You were such a darling little thing as a child. You know, it's only been three years since we last spoke. Really, only three. I suppose it all gets it start it all starts to get hazy after a while, living out as long as we do. Lucky. Well, this is Yadi. She knows my mentor since they were children. Nice to meet you. Never though I'd see never thought I'd see the day when you travel company. You really have grown. Ellen Ship Ship Pai. Ellen Ship Pai. Is that what they call you here? Yeah, he doesn't like his name. <laughs> he looks so unamused. He has some of the best facial animations. He's just like, I want to kill her so much right now. All right, all right. I was born Ellen Shapai. I adopted a new name when I became a gleaner, one that that adheres to the Eastern Vieira conventions, so as to avoid drawing attention. Given that this name is a homecoming, given that this is a homecoming, it was only a matter of time before you found out. Nevertheless, I would appreciate it if you continue using my chosen name. Yeah, no problem, man. <laughs> it's easier to say for me. A homecoming? You know, I've been thinking of paying the old stamping the uh, old stamping grounds of visit myself. It'd be great to see Ka Kahishi, Kahishi, Kahusha, Kahi, yeah. She's the finest archer I know. Ellen Shippa's mother and mentor. Every time I drop by, she treats us to a veritable feast prepared with fresh game sheep under herself. Man, you're giving out a lot of detail. You're impressive with bow too, Yati. Even among the Shitona. Oh, I couldn't compare to Ah, uh, she, uh, Kashia, Kashia, but her skill at arms pales in comparison to her knowledge of nature. That's what earned her a place among Galujaja's traveling companions, after all. She was always the inquisitive sort, but her journey across Turo with a fire in her. Even after Ellen Shapia was born, she often left him in my care so that she could embark on another expedition in search of the unknown. Oh, how you would cry and beg her to take you along. It must have been hard on you. Yadi, please. Well, we're all friends here, aren't we? 
No matter how many times he asked, the answer was always the same. You can come when you prove yourself a true explorer. Thus did she ask me of finding the city of gold. The best, best efforts, all paths led nowhere. I assumed it was but a dreamer's fantasy. A ploy to goad me into experiencing the wider world. But it was real, and we found it. You found it? As part of the right succession, I assumed everyone had heard. That's amazing. Oh, she'll be thrilled. And eager to bombard me with questions, no doubt. Hmm. I can't wait to meet your mother. Well, we should be on our way. Thank you so much for stopping by. Give my best to cut. Oh, okay. Help. I need help. Never mind. What's that about? Man, you stopped me right before I said the name. We'll, we, we'll investigate. Please wait here. Don't worry, lady. I'm a trained level 96 gunbreaker. I know what I'm doing. Okay. It's not gonna do anything. We got this. Okay. Was someone robbed? I'm gonna take guess and say someone was robbed. No doubt. These are the infamous local bandits. Please, you have to help me. I've been robbed. It's Namika. Walk Lamont's nurse, but I thought she looked familiar. Erville, beat her. Come any closer, we'll slit her throat from ear to ear. Wow, cowards. If you so much as nick her skin, you won't live to regret it. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Did he just say it's Walk Lamont's nursemaid? Maybe this ain't such a good idea. Take the goods to the boss. We'll deal with this. You had to open your mouth there, Vale. Wait. Please. You have to give it back. Okay, for a second I thought they were taking her, but now she's chasing her. I'm gonna go after Namika. This lot I will leave to you. I got a feeling I'm getting sent to jail for this. Oh no. Cocky bastard, I'll hang him by the ears and feed him to the old woman to the dog and feed the old woman to the dogs. Let's do this. We can deal with him later. First, we need to put this one in the dirt. I hate to say it, boys, you are n Oh, you're using the break blade. I know that sword. I have I used to have that sword and I got rid of the glamour. I can easily get it back. The break blade. Nice to see one using it. Goodbye. All right, bandits are defeated. All right, we're going a little bit of this way. Man, this is still going. It's the rule and Narla, Anala. The Cerulean vents are changing them. You discovered a new location. This is a church where they. Oh yeah. Man, hmm, this definitely feels like Western. You got the church with the graves all around it. No way to worry, she's fine. No ready to worry, oh she's is throwing me. No need to worry, uh, she is fine. I'm not even drinking, I just can't read today. Thank you, I don't know what I've done without you. No worries, ma'am. The bandit managed to get away, but I have an idea of where they're headed. You said they stole something from you. A bracelet. It was a parting gift from Mok Lamott. I see. Close as you two were, I can only imagine how much it meant to you. 
But what brings you all this way? With the right succession ended, Wakawa crowned the next Dawn Servant. She is ready to stand on her own. I told her as much, and of my plans to return home to Yasalani. Yasalani. She gave me the bracelet that I might always rem uh, that I might always remember our time together. That's sweet. It filled me with such joy. I wanted everyone to know, everyone to see this wonderful gift given to me by the Vow Resolve, and now it's gone. I would have let them take every coin to my name if they only left me that bracelet. I would ask you, ask what you intend to do, but I know that look. We're getting that bracelet back. Please, you mustn't put yourselves in harm's way for my sake. I can assure you, no harm will come to us. Vader will make certain of that. I understand your methods can be brutal, but it will be wise to show some restraint. Lest you forget yourself on the wrong side of the law, perhaps I should come as well to be sure all proceeds as it should. Holy cow, man, I'm not gonna murder somebody! I don't know what I could say. I could see why Walk Klamot put so much faith into you both. Thank you. Before anything else, let's see her back to Shishem Wenzi Springs. She'll be safer in town. And with Yadi there to keep an eye on her, we shouldn't have nothing to worry about. Thank you, both of you. Like I said, I chose the worst expansion to actually record. Holy cow, the naming convention. Let's just keep adding letters and numbers. All these letters. These are letters. Like, it makes sense when you say it all together, but my brain went for see, it's like... A word? Like, that's a Cillian Wilds. I can read that. But then this. Shishen Munzi. How? What? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm overacting a little bit. I'm just a, you know. Say what I say, do what I do, but I don't mean it. Everything can't be the same. Aaron, no, 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 not you. A number of Leotti's mining fellows are here as well. Namika is in good hands. Namika, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get you involved in this. It's fine. Aaronville, tell me what happened. You need to worry about Namika. If those bands should find us, I'll kick up a fuss and see them driven off. That bracelet meant everything to her, and those bastards wouldn't care even if they knew. Makes me sick. But at least I know she's safe, and I'll... And I know you'll set things right. Well, maybe. Apparently, Aaronville thinks I'm gonna murder their faces. Brace for trouble. Hey, you want some tender shortcake? Putting the word tender... It's kind of weird. Aaronville's compose demeanor bellies his eagerness to help Namika. I mean, aren't we all eager to help Namika? All right. Let's go and recover that bracelet. While I have nothing but contempt for these bandits, as it's as it involves a gift from Wakumut, we must be mindful how our actions might reflect upon her. I doubt Namika will find joy in return of a gift if lies were taken in the process. If it comes to violence, I ask that you stop short killing them. The rest we can leave to the dust watch. Well, now that makes me think you're strong. Really strong, are you? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say the truth, lady. I, ha I may have saved the star on one occasion, maybe two. You saved the star? That's a bold claim to make, but true, that, that certainly speaks to your strength. It is true! I found a god in outer space, lady! If your curiosity has been sated, then please indulge mine. Is there anything you can tell us about these bandits? Let's see. Well, of late, there's been talk of some unsavory types coming and going from Tata... Tatiwana. Tatiwana. Tatawai. Tata Yawai. Tata... Okay, Taten Yawai. Taten Yawai. 
the southwest. Is that the old mining town that was abandoned? That's the one. Now the cerulean extraction is a big business. No one wants to waste their time picking up, picking out dry up veins there. Sounds like the perfect lair for bandits. Not to mention that one with the bracelet fled in that direction. So you'll be investigating the place. I can let the Dawn Watch, Dusk Watch know if you like. Probably for the best. No, not yet. It would be for the best if we went alone. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, it's true. Because they just make things messy. There's something I like to ascertain. If you have no objections. Right. Let's be off. Woo. All right. Ugh. You know what's funny? I've been playing this a lot more than Elden Ring, and Elden Ring I barely made progress. I really need to play Elden Ring. If you want to know uh, where I'm at in Elden Ring, eh, the last video I made was me reaching the Atlas Plateau. And I've just been playing this guy. I know when I get to level 100, I'll be playing this technically less for recording, but I'll still be doing my dailies and stuff to keep up. And like I said, I do plan on playing this. Asilian Wilds. Asiliani. Asiliani Wilds. I do plan on keeping uh, playing the new patches as they come out and raids and stuff and showing the battles and all that. So this will be an ongoing series. Whether or not I go back and play the past story, we'll see. Aaronville. I'm gonna sip my drink, Aaronville. It seems the bands have claimed this place for themselves. You, yeah, just like in old westerns, they usually claim old mine shaft tunnels, old abandoned like buildings and stuff like that. Forts, or in the middle of the woods by the side of the road so they can attack travelers. I know that sword. Really? No, I honestly don't know I think about it. They made no attempt to conceal their presence. How can the Duskwatch not have noticed by now? Uh, I find a guess cover up or dirty Dusk Watchers like the guy we saw earlier. A question for another time. First, we must find the bracelet. I don't see the bandit who had it. Perhaps they're a lot there in one of the buildings. Ramshackle. As they are. Ramshackle as they are. It should prove a simple thing to eavesdrop on anyone inside. If you'll go go and have a look about, I'll keep a watch out for trouble. Oh. Alright, if only I had six iron on me. I hear man. I'm Gonna be walking through town. Here's a man loose. Gotta warn you about. Damn, I was hoping to jump over that. Oh, sorry, I meant to say something. Damn, I jump over that. Seeing someone's fighting the dog breakers. Destination. The bandits will not notice you here. You can safely eavesdrop on anyone inside. Okay. Probably wants to use a western accent. As you lean in to listen, you begin to pick up the voices and the muffled chatter. <clears throat> Don't know where we'd be without him. Probably shuffling sand. Praying we'd strike it rich. Ain't that the truth? Only an idiot would work the mines with easier money to be had. No, that we've got a boss who can keep the dust watch off our backs. <laughs> Hey, watch what you say. The wind's got a way of carrying secrets to the wrong ear. I'm gonna stop. Maybe so, but who'd ever believe one of them sainted souls? One of them sainted souls was running with our crew. That drunk who brought your story about the gold shitting a pack of our fright. <laughs> Uh, actually, we did find that Paco. Uh, it was her brother who is now doing a thing behind them. Oh, no. Um. All right. 
Yeah, I'll get to you. Pop Aurora on him, but I'm doing my own thing. You're welcome. I tried to pop my heart cerulean on him. No. So I gave him Aurora. When in doubt, you can Aurora somebody and save them. If ever I'm in a trial or a raid and my healers are low, I usually pop that on them. Because if I'm not main tanking, best to give it to someone who needs it more than me. Is Lenny okay? Let me out of here, you bastard. Shut your mouth, you sniveling little brat. Make me. I'll get you back for framing my friends. That bull. The vulture most of all. You tell him he can eat shit. <laughs> how about we give you a chance to tell him yourself? We'll see how things, how tough you are then. Oh, is that the guy who was up to that one? Yeah, okay. He was the guy who was angry. His friends were in jail, got framed, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, that one guy's like, you don't want to get on my bad shot, boy. Arabelle, how you doing? The bandits who took the bracelet may be hiding in this building. Have a listen and see what we can find out. I mean, I already checked the other two, but now I know that kid's here. All right, just like last time. <laughs> I brought back a prize you're gonna love, boss. Have a look at this bracelet. Beautiful, ain't it? That was made by a famous artist. You idiot, how are we supposed to move something like this without attracting attention? Boss, please. Please, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, man, we'd love to hear that. Damn. We could find a sailor who won't ask questions. Sell it for a song. Here's a reward. Don't bring me this kind of grief again. I, I, I won't, boss. Thank you. Yeah, he's the leader. I mean, he's smart. You don't want to steal things like... You don't want to steal really expensive jewelry. It can get tracked very easily. You want to steal smaller things. Finished, are you? Let's retreat for now. I see you, Aether Current. Oh, never anymore. I'll do those on my own time, like I always say. So, were you able to learn anything? I mean, you were there with me. You should learn too. Their leader is a man of the Dusk Watch. Dust Watch. That would explain why these bandits have been able to do as they please. And you say they gave the bracelet to him. It seems we have our work cut off for us. Do you hear anything else of note? Oh, hey, wouldn't it be funny if this had a double twist. We think it's that kind of older uh, gentleman he was yelling at, but what if it was the Matoke? Like the honorable Matoke, who is like, oh yeah, everyone keep doing their rounds and all that, while I run a secret underground gang. The boy? Oh wait, Zakoa? That's the boy who confronted one of the officers in town, isn't he? And you say they threatened to take him to speak with the Vulture, their leader's alias, no doubt. Fitting for a man who preys on the helpless. Well then, not only do we have a better idea of who's behind the, re the, the recent rash of robberies and Hasta. Oh god. Hastawai. Hastawai. We also know he has the bracelet. Retrieving it without bloodshed will prove difficult, though. If he's that quick to point a gun at his own underling. We need to get him alone. I'm not storming the hideout. You're right. If we can confront him with this henchman around, a violent outcome is all but guaranteed. Yeah. Hmm. I might have a plan. There's a small summit to the southeast of here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Words. My weakness. Give me math. 
Give me math from the Ivalice raid, and you might think that's funny. No, there's literally a boss in the Ivalice raid where you gotta do math. If you get it right, you get a buff. If you get the the the, the uh, if you get the answer of the problem wrong, you get a debuff, and there's a high chance you'll die. <laughs> oh, okay, give me a second. Lu Waten in ya, Lu Waten in ya wawasa. Luwa, oh, you know, I have. I'll call it Luton. That place is called Luton from now on. I don't care if it's wrong. Also, I'm enjoying FF14 tonight because tomorrow I'm doing a lot of housework. I'm not having any free time, sadly. It sucks too, doing housework basically all weekend and not having any free time. I have free time today, uh, here and there. But yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, and then Sunday. The Maw of Senshay, Shea. Shea, yeah. Yeah, I won't really have much free time. Maybe Sunday a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. So now we're just in the wild west trying to deal with a robbery. Man, if this is a location where you want to play machinist, have the quicker draw. A Napa Lindir. You know what? I don't want to mess with you yet. It doesn't look too abandoned. The chimneys and the lights are all on, Aaronville. If you if we're to retreat the place without conflict. It won't be done by barging in through the front door. We have to lure him out. To do that, we'll avail ourselves of... Yah... Yah... Yahihisian. Yahihisian. A dragon-like creature that lives southwest of here. It's their breeding season, you see. It's their breeding season, you see. And the males will flock to the scent of a female in heat. The few in ingredients and a sample of their feces, I can create an attractant that resembles the scent the scent when burned. We can lure the Yahihisian into the band's hideout, flushing out the vulture and his gang. Then, while they are content, content with our, our flying friends, we can sneak in and search for the bracelet. I'm afraid I must ask you to collect the excrement. While well, you see that I will see to the while you see to that, I will go and procure the remaining ingredients. I'm not happy with this. Before you say anything, I do not ask this because of any aversion to feces. Uh, it, it would simply be easier for me to find the specific spe species of wild plants you require. Here, take these three pouches, see them filled, and I will handle the rest. I don't want to search for feces. No, you've... Mm. Um, gotta search for feces, man. Hey, man, get on my head, man. You like smoke in my brain, man. Get on my head, man. Can't think right now. If you can name what show that's from, bravo. I recently started watching Smiling Friends. A really good show. I'm very happy I watched it, and the episodes are really short, which is. Honestly, good, but also a shame because I want them to be longer. There's only two seasons, which is also a shame. Like, I want more. Hey, who wants a mate in? You want a mate? Okay, we're gonna find you a mate. Just leave me alone. You survey the area, but see no signs of droppings. Really? Ignore me, dear sir. I'm here for your fecal matter. Oh, I probably want the foul smelling nest. Not the bone laden nest, which is the feasting nest, probably. You find a pile of droppings you and gingerly scoop them into your pouch. Yay! The most important quest in the game scoop some poop into a bag. 
You're lucky I can't fly yet. This would be so much quicker. But even if you go around, get all the Aether points, you have to go do the main story to get locations unlocked, which unlocks side quests. And that main quest also gives you one at the most. La huni he si he he. There he is. Aaronville, I got your. F We're doing this? We're really doing this. You're dead. Whether you like it or not, you're dead. Finished already, are we? Here you go, have, um... Leavings filled sack. A small hemp sack full, uh, to... Full to bursting with leavings. Though you pray to the 12, it doesn't actually burst. Please don't. I mean, technically the 12 don't exist anymore. Excellent. This'll do nicely. All that's left is to mix the feces and the tumble claw fibers. Dried nopal, uh, nopa le tender, nopa le tender root, and generous helping of animal fat. Come, let's get back to Tonatawiya. Alright, I'm gonna just teleport. Nah, it's a waste. It's, it's basically there. We got this. Listen, Cactar. I'm saying this now. Be glad I'm not doing this for leveling. For doing the main MSQ will give me a class all the way up to 100 on its own time. Even though I play Sage less, and that puppy is keeping up. Like, I could do MSQ with my Sage right now and probably be fine. Because it has the same type of weapon. I think it's spell speed and crit. I focused hard on crit for uh, Sage because double shields, baby. Ugh. You gotta love those double shields. Okay, Aaronville, let's uh, let's um, have th some things mate, shall we? Mating season. Everything is ready. Time to start planning the motion. Blowing smoke, Aaronville's gaze is fixed on the bandit's hideout. A fair number appear to be gathered inside. Now's our chance. I will keep watch from here. The attractant, I leave to you. Toss it in the bonfire near the middle of town. Yee hee No, sorry. Yee hee see ya. We'll come in soon after. Okay. I'm gonna toss some excrement in you, excrement with you, Daybreaker. Hey everybody, ignore me, I'm just gonna toss some poop in your fire. Speaking of which, let me read you before I do that. A foul smelling attractant, a sack of ingredients that, when burned, is guaranteed to attract Yahia Hisia and leave near everything else fit to wretch. All right, here we go. Let's see how fast this goes. I am shocked I'm not puking. Hey, look at that female in heat. Oh man, I bet you boys want that. Man, that gun blade looks so nice. What's that smell? Oh, that reeks. What did you put in the fire? It was me, I swear. Yes, argue amongst yourselves. 
Ugh, something die. Nope, it is him. Okay. Someone wanted to explain that ungodly stench to me. Ah, you have it. I'm gonna have to beat you up. I mean, I knew it was him, but I was coming up with other reasons why it might be the other guy, because too obvious, and sometimes they want to subvert your ex expectations. Uh-oh. The boss over there. Huh? What, what in the world? You're an in-heat female, and they want you. Go for your lives! Hmm, so the smokes withdrew them here. I swear when I find out who did this. Hey. I say our friends have stirred up enough trouble. I say our friends have stirred up enough trouble. It's time to retrieve the bracelet. Understood. Let's do this. Huh? What's going on out there? Yeah, we should free him. I'm still in here in case you forgot. <laughs> I mean, I kind of did. I, I actually did forget he was in there. Thanks for reminding us. Sit tight. We'll be back for you. I don't know why I found that funny. I actually did forget he was in there. What? You gotta get me out of here right now. They're gonna kill me. I'm begging you, please. They'll hear you. Well, they see you, not me. Shit. Who was that? You lost composure. Hey, are you gonna help me out or what? This <laughs> bracelet must wait. Let's break him out and withdraw for now. No, I say we leave him in there for screwing up our plans. deserve to still be locked up. Thanks, I owe you one. For a moment there, I thought you would actually might leave me behind. I mean, if the game never reminded me about you, I probably would have. The problem is now we don't have the bracelet, we have you, and you don't have much use for me. All that effort for not, and not to show for it. Sorry about that, but damn, I didn't think anyone would have the balls to take on the vulture. No need to apologize, we were planning to save you eventually. Really? I did I and I don't even know who you are. The secret admirers of mine or something? No. <laughs> I'm just having fun with you. I do appreciate the help. This man they call the vulture. I've seen his face before. Was he not the officer you confronted in town? The one and the same. He's not masquerading as a gang leader. He serves as a deputy chief of the Dust Watch. Dust Watch. I keep wanting to call Dusk Watch. That would explain why the bandits are so confident they can avoid capture. They're trying to get back at, uh, back something the vulture stole, right? You're trying to get back. Oh, yeah, my bad. You're trying to get back something the vulture stole, right? Let me help you. It's the least I can do after you bailed me out back there. I have an idea where he's hid his cash. Reckon he's heading there now, too. We can go there together. I've got a score to sell with him myself. I don't doubt you do, but we need we need to know what is first. Will you tell us? Right, so. Those bandits are the Toto... To, to, wait, Tana... Tayawi. 
Tantau Yawawi. They're called the Daw Daybreakers. It makes me and my friends. And it was me and my friends that founded the group. But it wasn't a gang of cutthroats, not back then. We just wanted to protect people who couldn't protect themselves. Kids being harassed by bullies, workers being exploited by the mining concerns, folks who need the oh, concerned folks who needed help to even the odds. That was three years ago. Whenever we found someone scheming in the shadows, we'd sell matters in the best way we knew how. With a duel. I see. By the old laws, anyone who loses in duel must be held accountable for by their crimes, even those in positions of authority. Ah, I see how this might end. He might duel the guy. And we made damn sure they did every time. Before we knew it, our small band of friends commanded a force to be reckoned with. Then, about three years ago, the Vulture and his thugs showed up. They got the better of us and took over the Dawnbreakers. Everyone was afraid of him, so they did his bidding without question. But th when he showed them how they could make a fortune easily, that was when he really won them over. Now the Daybreakers are nothing but a bunch of bandits and cutthroats who prey on people it was created to protect. I talked it over my friends. Can we... Wait, Kiwi, wait. Kiwi Kana and Lewine, and we agreed the only way to stop him was challenge him to a duel. And he accepted, and I still remember how he gloated that we, he'd win. But when the day came, he showed up with a dust, squat, dust watch and had my friends arrested on the charges of robbery. And if that was the reason enough, he set their bail to a price no one could ever hope to pay with them locked away there's been no one to help me uh, my old friends from the daybreakers and certainly not the dust watch and that's why you're ready to challenge in the middle of town i was until a guy with a spear stopped me no sooner had I stepped out of town than the Vulture's minions caught me by surprise. They took me prisoner, then... Well, you know the rest. You said the Dust Watch would be of no help. Are they working for the Vulture, then? No, not all of them. The Sheriff, Kemaka, he's an honest... He's as honest as they come, a staunch keeper of the peace. Problem is, he's a little too trusting and doesn't suspect a thing. If I were... If it were my word against the Deputy Chiefs, who do you think he'd believe? Well, if he knows that where this vulture keeps the spoils, perhaps he can't come with us to re re recover Namika's bracelet. What do you think? I see no reason. He has a weapon. He's probably experienced. For what it's worth, I have a plan, but I can't do it alone. A plan? All I ask is for you to hear me out, but not here. I'll be waiting for you at the Shishawazi Springs. I guess we can decide what to do after he gives us the, up the pitch. Yep. When I hear this music, I think of the Wolves' Den because it's the theme that plays non-stop. Alright, let's go north. On a mount because there are a lot of enemies. I accidentally used Sprint. Wait, you know what? I've used this mount long enough. It's time to change. No, it actually is time for change. I'm going to say... Why not? No, not you. You know I like you. Not you. Here. We'll go with the Alexander raid, which I did solo, by the way. If you're wondering when it flies, it sprouts wings from its back. 
and the theme it plays is all right i would prefer the alexander theme rise rather than the non-vocal one it plays but eh they all can't be winners in that regard all right we're here so now we're doing this as a plot I wasn't expecting this i'm grateful he could he could take us to deputy chief but it would all be for naught if we were seen good you're here this is where he hides his loot i expect he'll show up soon mm, need that wild banana bread which Ooh. that's some good stuff right there the law of the land Aaronville looks exceptional expectantly at who walked to Well, well, look who it is. Hmm. Thorn selling goods here seems risky, but I suppose it's an option for someone who has with his authority. Yeah, he moves the spoils in the cerulean barrels where no one would think to look. They're mixed they're mixed in with regular shipments of fuel to Tilio Tiliola, where they're sold off. You said you stole a bracelet yours, right? If he knows you're on his tail, chances are he'll be eager to get what he can for it. But I doubt he trusts a lackey with that business, given the province of the peace. No, I wager he'll not... He's not letting up on the bracelet or out of sight. I'll wager he's not letting that bracelet out of his sight until he's got a coin in hand. I wasn't sure what to make of you after Hawashi uh, Hawa, Has, Hasatashui, but I'm glad to see you're more than an impulsive child. <laughs> yep. Ah, well, not my finest hour, I'll admit it. But there's a lesson in it. The vulture is a slippery bastard. If we're going to catch him, we need to back him in a corner with hard evidence. That's my plan. Or first, we need to lure him away from here. Over the Hasatashi would be ideal. For that, I need one of you to help me. This will buy time for the other to search the barrels for any stolen goods. And using that, we'll expose him for as a criminal. There's no way to tell there's no way to tell what what he would what we what we hoods carrying that we hoods carrying the bracelet but regardless there's there will be time enough to find out once he's behind the box but won't he simply feign, feign innocence oh he'll try that's when i'll challenge him to a duel A duel that approach didn't work out so well for your friends, as I recall. True, but unlike before, I'll challenge him in front of the whole town. That way, he won't be able to wriggle out of it like before. Every man, woman, and child in the wild understands the importance of duels and the old laws. The deputy chief would never disgrace himself by refusing. But wouldn't you be breaking the law by using a firearm in town? It's not as if we'd be using live rounds, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, so in the FF14 world, in this land, you don't like, use actual live rounds when you do a duel. Maybe. I think it's just something he's doing. What's important is that I give him to duel with as many witnesses as possible. When he loses, and he will lose, there will be an end of the vulture. The plan is not without its flaws, but what do you think? I say we let Zekoa have his duel. We have to trust in him. This is his plan, after all. Thanks! I sure... 
I sure was lucky running into two of you. You won't regret this, I promise. Oh god, please don't make me regret this. I'm satisfied. If you're satisfied, then so am I. I knew I could count on you. I mean, I'm dressed for success. And also, I am dying in this weather. I, see, I was seen in Tatiwai. So it's probably best I stay and search the barrels. Yeah, I kind of expected that. He did see him. Then you're with me. Tell the vulture I tried the rock, but you managed to overpower me. Even if he suspects the trap, you won't be able to resist taking the bait. You'll want to buy your friend as much time as possible and make your way to Hastui. Once you've got the vulture there, I'll take care of the rest. Understood. All right, let, all right then, let's get to it. Man, he is thinking. All right. Hey, uh, I'm. I was getting robbed. I need your help. Well, where? Why does everyone have an H in their name here? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Hey, hey, seeing. Or likely Chateau is doing. What's his angle? Then there's that, that uh, the brat. Past time I dealt with him. Uh oh. One second, let me poke him. I like to look for poke, please, because I'm too lazy to look for it myself. Ah, there it is. Huh? What's this? Ah, an unfamiliar faces in these parts. <clears throat> you have needed the dust watch, sir. Yes, yeah, so it's getting robbed, and I was hoping to take you to the person who tried to get me. What? Zakoa tried to rob you, but you apprehended him? I see. So desperate was he to see his friends free from prison, he turned to a life of crime. How awful. You have my sincere thanks, sir. May I trouble might I trouble you to take might I trouble you to take him to me? Take you take me to him. Alright. Follow me. It's the first time I'm doing this. I'm leading you into a trap. Here, let's talk about the springs. Now, this is an appropriate, not that this is an appropriate time for me to play tour guide, but if you insist. Shesha Springs is home to a thriving cerulean mining industry. This prospect of easy coin has attracted some undesirables, though. I love how I'm turning him into, I'm bringing him to a trap. It's like, hey, tell me about these barrels and stuff, man. Come on. All right, follow me. Seeing Sunny Wilds. Man, look at all the people in the air. I had to gather, I can tell immediately from the circles around them. Alright, let's wait at the destination, see what unfolds. Is this the place? I don't see him. Just a little further. I see. Very fine, lead on. Speaking of which, sir, I am very curious to have more discussions about locations because I am new to these parts and I would love for you to explain them for me. Gatherer? Hey, can you explain about the Cerulean Fields? There's gold in these fields. Blue gold. There we go. That's a line. <laughs> Best be wary of beasts in these parts. They may prefer to snack on cerulean, but for you, I reckon they make an exception. Law and order. Man. So if there's one, if you want to know where all the puns are in this game, look no further than the fates. There's so many fates that have really good pun names, it is amazing. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. No part ways with him. Leave me alone, surly bomb. Is this the place then? Um. 
I'm sorry, I'm still learning my way around. This is some sort of joke of all the... Let's keep moving. I'm sorry, sir, I really am. Uh, looks like I don't have any more uh, optional dialogue with you. Shame. It means your time with us is near at hand. Um, big bird? Oh, that's a hunt. That's a level 100 hunt. Hey, can you stop it, you dumb beard? Or some beard? I'll do it. That's what I thought. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that. He won't get aggroed on me. Usually, hunts do not get aggroed on you. This better be the place. Oh, now I remember. My patience is wearing thin, awful thinly, uh, awfully thin, sir. If he isn't at the next place we stop, I may be forced to do something to you, and I, and I both. Oh, okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. You didn't give me a chance to read it, you fool. Right now, it's dust storms. Makes sense with it being a western. There's a bunch of dust. I still got that on Twist of Fate. Uh, yeah, there's a fate in front of me. Serpent Lord Stirs. Hey, man. About the these. Unless you'd rather, unless you'd rather I feed you the one raw, uh, feed you one raw noodles and all. <laughs> the chit chat. Okay, he's getting impatient. What a shame. I was enjoying our chit chat. I'm gonna ignore the fate and go here. We'll love to do you, but this is more important for me at the moment. This episode is just me misspeaking a lot. All right, where is he? And the bushes. I don't see him anywhere. Where is Sokoa? Tell me where he is or I'll bury you in the same grave. Confound it. He must have escaped. That's it. I had enough of these games. I had it with you. Hey, look at uh, he what he? You looking for me? If you want peace of me, uh, if you want to place me under arrest, you'll have to work a little harder. Oh, there he goes. You'll be begging for something until I'm done with you. Ticket, you're not voiced. Well, who Hey, never mind. Is finally <laughs> caught up to me. I see. Oh, there's. Well, well, if it isn't our young outlaw. You've taken up stealing, I'm told. Can't say I'm surprised about that, but I am surprised that you'd offer yourself up to be arrested. Sorry to disappoint, but you're the one who's going to answer for their crimes today. He <laughs> got a barrel. Hey, that's my jewelry and my bag. S 
So you found the stolen goods. That's fine work. This battle was at Shisenuetsi Springs, mixed in with others bound for Kuriyama. Shisenuetsi Springs. Okay, that's how it says. All right. The Landsguard would have presumed it part of the regular Cerulean shipments and waved it through. And once it reached its destination, it would have been retrieved, and its content sold for coin. The audacity. Do we know who's behind this? Why, well, yes we do, sir. As fortune would have it, I spied the leader of this operation being handed one of the stolen items. A bracelet, which Wao Wuklamat had intended for her nursemaid, Namika. It, it, it was from the Vow of Resolve? <laughs> he didn't know. Oh, you've seen it then? No, n no, never. And if I knew who had it, I, I would have arrested the scoundrel. Mm hmm. You would have had to arrest yourself. Uh oh. What's the meaning of this, Wuhute? It's a setup, sir. I, I have the bracelet, yes, but I only because I found it. I, I swear. They're the real criminals. They concocted this scheme to frame me so they could get me out of the picture. Uh huh. If you feel your honor's at stake, there's always the old fashioned way. The law which folks have used to settle their differences for generations. You don't mean. We got a duel, everybody! Wahute, I challenge you to a duel. The winner is right, the loser is wrong. Doesn't get simpler than that. Yeah, have at it. I trust you, Let man. Let your pistols do the talking. Please, do you honestly believe you can goad me into playing your game? You refuse, then? <laughs> A baby alpaca's got more fight than you. All right, boy. But remember, you asked for this. Come on, Sekoa! Give him what for! Now, is this an instant battle, or is Shouldn't this going to be cutscene? Chief? Even if it's just rubber bullets, we're in the middle of town. Be quiet. Just watch. Winds really began now. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Oh, you little shit! Okay, yeah, he is definitely a fast draw, but not faster than Matt Dillon. Looks like you've gotten slow in your old age. Vulture. You and I are going to have a long talk. This is a really decent, like, small little quest that happens. I apologize for dueling in the middle of town. If you want to lock me up, then lock me up. 
But please, let my friends go. They've done nothing wrong. You drew your gun within town limits. Mm-hmm. But... But we Hootay drew first. Far as I'm concerned, you acted in self-defense. You're free to go. As are your friends. Ah, uh, you're not such a bad guy after all. Just a man of the wilds, like you. Maybe he's gonna get invited to be part of the Dust Watch. But to think that Wihute had taken control of the Daybreakers, it pains me that it happened right under my nose. What are you gonna do about his crew? Some of them are still in Tona Tenui. Those who have broken the law will be taken into custody. But those who haven't will be given the chance to resume walking the straight and narrow. What about you, Zakua? What do you intend to do now? We start the daybreakers. Why? What I've always done. Yep. In a way. Protect the weak and help the helpless. The old fashioned way. Here, this was Vawuk Lamont's gift for someone, wasn't it? That was. Yes. A person very dear to her. Not gonna lie, it's actually a very pretty and simple bracelet. I suppose this is where we go our separate ways. My thanks again for your help apprehending the vulture. You're welcome, dear sir. Lock to keep in the We'll hate to have another body on old Boot Hill. Boot Hill is a location in Gunsmoke where if someone dies, you get buried with a tombstone, and most of the time it's unknown people. Using fake names and aliases and such. Zakoa. <laughs> that was a pretty nice shot, right? Yeah, you did it. That ended up being rather more complicated than expected, but all's well ends well. I, finally, it's over. I couldn't have brought him to justice without your help. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. No, man. It's fine. Um, I was gonna call it here, but I think I'll do this one last quest. On track, Aaronville is relieved to see that everything's set to rights. Now that we have the bracelet, let's return to Shinzawanzi Springs. I still won't be able to say that. Will you be staying there long? I'll give you a proper thanks after I find my friends. We weren't playing on it, but there's no need to rush. We'll see you at the springs then. And now we have eight the right quests. But I want to find out there. I swear I will be doing all the eighth right quests maybe next time. We'll see. I have to get them done one way or another to fly. Which flying is the best way to travel. Jump. Yeah. We're here. All right, let's give Nanamika her bracelet. Nanamika. We found this, and I really hope you treasure it for the rest of your life. A bracelet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is more than just a gift. It's a part of me. I could never hope to replace. No, we get it. You raised her, and yeah. Truly, Wakulama is blessed to have such devoted friends. Well, I wouldn't put it quite that way. I prefer to think of us more as long-standing acquaintances. Regardless of how you choose to describe it, there's no denying the depth of your bond, though I'm sure you'll continue to do so. Can't say I'm surprised the deputy chief turned out to be the bandit's leader. I always knew there wasn't something right about him. An easy claim to make with the gift of hindsight. <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah, I knew he was evil. How? Well, I, I always had a feeling. There you are. The real daybreakers have arrived. 
I'd like to, I'd like you to meet my two best friends, Kiwakan, wait, Kiwi Kana, and Luine, Luine. If it wasn't for you, I, if it wasn't for you believing in Sokoa and doing what you did, we'd still be locked up. You have no idea how satisfying it is to see that bastard, we, 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 we ne we've never given up hope that Sakoa would find a way out for us. He always w was the best of the daybreakers. Glad he was able to convince you to go along with his plans. Fortunately, our group is smaller now, lacking strength besides. Some outlaws might see us as an easy target. Even so, if anyone should give the daybreakers da the, the sorry, give the dust watch a slip, the daybreakers will be there. We'll try day and night so no one will get the better of us ever again. Isn't that right? There we go. Right, and you'll teach us how you drew that pistol so fast, won't ya? Well, we won't need a duel if it goes as it should. But on the off chance it doesn't, you be best make sure everyone can match or bet beat my speed. We owe you a great debt. One of these days, I'll be sure to pay it. On that, you have my word. Until we meet again. Okay, so when things go down real hard, I expect you to show up then. Because I got a feeling things are going to go down real bad. If you excuse me, I shall find a quiet place to rest. As I'll be here for a while yet. Though, uh, do let me know if there's any way I can be of assistance. Were you not planning to take the train home? Oh, train service has been suspended, didn't I tell you? No, no, you mentioned no such thing. Something about tracks being damaged in the last quake. The tunnel was closed as well. An earthquake, it must have happened when we were still down south. There's been quite a few tremors of late. A rather large one snuck, struck not too long before you two arrived. I can only hope no one was hurt. Was that tremor gonna cause the Golden City getting opened, maybe? This is me just guessing. At any rate, if you want to know when the service will, be, will resume, you could speak with the station master uh, yourself. Let's do that. The station is just over there. Okay. Glad you're happy, by the way. I really am. All right, let's talk to the station master. So I got a feeling if the quake happened before we, arri we arrived, it could be possible that when he opened the Golden City, earthquakes are starting to happen. Because he said that he wanted to control the entire world. Are, are quake earthquakes part of that or are these just natural? It seems people aren't happy about the train delay. No. I wouldn't be either. I'm so sorry, but we're not sure when the train will be running again. Uh, you've got to be joking. Of all the places to get stuck at on the way. Please don't tell me you've come to complain, too. <clears throat> we heard that the earthquake had caused disruptions and wanted to ask when operations would resume. Uh, but I see that it will be a while yet. I'm afraid so. Too few hands for too much work. Okay, I was really confused for past It's time like consuming minutes, enough to inspect like the tracks Mexican after every quake, play. but this last Apparently, one we got after my, uh, the succession ceremony was massive. Google clock a was of playing a whole bunch of railroad ties. The succession ceremony? We would have been in Tuliola at the time. If it was as violent as you say, we should have felt it as well. Yeah, that is true. Sorry about the interrupting, admit, by the way. It was a touch strange, having seen my fair share of tremors. If I had to describe it, it felt more like the rumbling from an explosion. Oh, sabotage? 
Is there anything I can do to help? Seriously? You're offering to help? I mean, we always offer to help, man. Don't worry. What about you, my friend? If you'd rather strike out on your own, I understand. All right, I'm ditching you. See you later. Oh, if you were willing to lend us a hand, too, Damn it. we'd be truly tremendously grateful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were Thank you. Thank on you that, so much. They? <laughs> I'm Shenza, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. And he if you would please step inside, that. I can introduce you to everyone. Sorry for dragging you into this. Yeah, you owe me. So yeah, weird thing, which is why I cut them off while they're talking. Is I guess something they said start playing Mexican music on my Google smart. There clock. they are. It was confusing. That's them, the two volunteers. I, I killed a god. Multiple. Walika is our station master, and over there is our top driver, Nitoikwe. Totally and this boring. grizzled mug is Zapia, an engineer who joined around the same time as me. Much obliged for the help. I'll make it worth your while, I promise. Oh, oh boy. Oh, it reminds him of that. Something the matter? No, just something I saw in a different place in a different world. You know, I'm gonna ask it though. Are would you happen to be a fan of trolleys? Because um, a real quick explanation in this is um, we went to a different shard and it was about to be enveloped by light entirely. And there was a group of people who look exactly like them who ran trolleys. So I'm curious. Trolleys? They're fine, I suppose, but they're no match for our cerulean-powered engine. Hmm. She's absolutely glorious, let me tell you. If you'd like to bask in her beauty, well, you should visit the depot behind the platform. Hmm. Right then. What I'd like you two to do is help us procure timber. We'll be using it to fashion new railroad ties. So it needs to be the strongest stuff we can get. Okay. In these parts, that means the trees in the Piata Yonan Plain. It is Hetsaro territory, though, so we need to get their permission first. Come on, no time to waste. The music is similar. It's just a different take on it. Oh, I hear it. I do. Hey, right. We're okay. Right, let's do this. All right, and I will be ending it here for the night, for me at least. Though no small number I live in Shaloni, I must confess that I've never visited the home of the Hetsaro as they largely live in accordance with older tradi traditions i must i suspect they have a dim view of the railroads and now right on the verge of level 97 i must bid you adieu for i am getting tired and i got a very busy busy day tomorrow but yeah, I will be playing this, of course, after I do all the things tomorrow, because I'm not doing them throughout the night. So I will be playing this again. But I also gotta play Elden Ring, because holy cow, I am slacking hard. I also did a test recording to mess with some things with uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Not sure if I released that one, though. That one was a test. I, But if I do release it, whatever. But I only do one episode, but yeah. Until then, I'll see you next time. I'm off to go to bed and maybe do some uh, currents on my own time. But until then, I'll see you next time. Good night, goodbye, farewell, see you later, sayonara, and all that. See ya!